there was a ton of kids, but they were just kind of like sitting there, didn't know how to really take us, we didn't really know how to take them. And then finally we turned on some music and they all just started dancing with us and we just walked around down the sidewalks and just started dancing and then afterwards we prayed for everybody and the kids there, they felt the love and so they would just sit with us and talk to us and it was, it was incredible hearing their stories. Um, there was a couple of kids that were blind or were missing limbs from getting hurt by the trains or getting abused by different kids there or parents there and most of them just lived on the street just with other with other kids they have no idea where their parents are or who they are that even if you didn't you know, just preach to them necessarily they could feel the love just by you coming there and sitting with them and telling them about somebody greater than I am that loves them even more than I do being a teenager you tend to judge people automatically but since I've been back I haven't judged people from the outside at all you have to like you have to talk to them and you have to love on them and you have to find out their story before you see them in a different way you have to like reach out to more people and so that's since I've been back I've talked to a lot of people I've led a lot of people to Christ here just because it's what I'm used to now and I feel comfortable doing that with people. Hi, um, I'm going to be going back to India this next year and I encourage anyone to come with me. You will change so many lives and it will be so refreshing. And But if you're not able to go, you should definitely consider funding some of us and any part that you can give or come is always going to change lives and it's going to be so exciting. Thanks guys.